Testing one, two, testing one, two. Hi, hi, hello. What's up, taste buds? It's your girl, Eilinster, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Taste Bud Club. It's another week, so you know what that means. It's another episode. I hope you all have been taking great care of yourselves, and I am so happy to be sitting right back where we are, where we left off for another episode this week. It's going to be a for sure jam-packed one. I know I say that every single episode, but trust me, this episode has so much going on. I am so excited. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so to start off our week, for those of you who are smoothie fanatics or have been living under a rock and did not know that we have a Jamba location here in Albuquerque, well, I am here to tell you that we actually do. And I am actually super excited because now I can actually get my white gummy fix whenever I want to. And if you don't know what the white gummy is, it's pretty much this smoothie that was on their menu. Then they took it off for like their quote unquote secret menu. And now it's actually back on their menu. And pretty much it's supposed to taste like the white gummy bear. And I personally love this one. Okay, so next up to continue our Asian owned business highlight for this month, I revisited one of the boba shops here in town, actually on the west side of town called T Lab. And with them, they just recently opened a couple months ago and they're actually doing really good, especially being on that side of town in particular. This time I actually got the peachy peach tea and it's pretty much some kind of tea. I think it's a green tea that they put peach in it and there's little chunks of, I think they put peach chunks in there and there's an orange slice and a peach wedge in there. I think it was super light and refreshing. If you're going to go check them out, definitely give them a try. They also have other offerings as well, like tea, coffee, milk teas, and all that fun stuff. Their menu is a little limiting, but there is definitely a little bit of everything for everyone. So if you haven't heard of them or checked them out yet, definitely go do so, especially if you're on that side of town. Okay, so since filming last week's episode, we actually passed Cinco de Mayo, and of course your girl had to celebrate the occasion with a margarita, and this year's margarita was courtesy of El Patron. Fun fact, I've never actually eaten here or stepped foot in this establishment until Cinco de Mayo. And I thought it was a little funny because I've driven past this place like probably a million times, but I actually met up with my coworker here on Cinco de Mayo and we had some margaritas, some chips and salsa. Their salsa actually had a really good kick to it, which I really enjoyed. And then we also had some sopapillas. One of the servers actually brought out caramel sauce for the sopapilla. I don't know if that's like a normal thing because I've only enjoyed a sopapilla with honey. So I was a little bit thrown off with that. But if you have tried sopapilla with caramel sauce, let me know in the comments below if you actually liked it or not. Personally for me, I didn't like it. Just give me the honey and leave it at that. Okay, so next up, we are going to talk about this breakfast burrito from Chocolate Maven. And I actually picked up this burrito from Michael Thomas. So this burrito here is their breakfast burrito and it had green chili, cheese, potato, and eggs. And I really enjoyed this burrito. I think this is like my second time getting it. It's really good after you like warm it up. I like adding a little bit of sriracha to it to add a little bit of a kick to it because their green chili isn't that hot to begin with. I also didn't know that Chocolate Maven did more than just pastries and all that good stuff. And so I definitely hopped online, looked at their menu and found out that they did breakfast, brunch and lunch. So now I feel like I need to add this spot to my bucket list next time I make it over there to Santa Fe because this burrito definitely hit the spot and I am so excited to try out their other menu offerings as well. Okay, so later in the week, we actually went out and watched the United game here in town I am not like a soccer fanatic but I do like going for the experience and I try to go to at least one or two games a year just for the vibes the memes and all that fun stuff and for here stadium food is kind of mid but that's okay it definitely did hold us over throughout the night but pretty much what we got here was the chicken tendies with fries the Philly cheesesteaks and the burger 
the chicken tendies and fries were a bit cold. I think they over fried it so it looked kind of not as good as it usually would be and the chicken I've had better so we're not going to get into that. The Philly cheesesteak, the meat was really soft and flavorful and whatever sauce they threw on that, that was also really good. The burger that my friend had also looked really good as well. He said it was good so we're just going to take his word for it. And so in addition to our food, the boys also got a few beers and I got the lemonade and I thought that was actually really good for stadium quality but it was just a little bit expensive and there was was a little bit too much ice in there but what do you expect okay so a few of you might laugh at me for this next one but it is something that we did consume and i feel like it deserves a little bit of a highlight in an episode so if you know you know and it kind of feels like a reward at the end of a, a shopping trip so if you kind of have an idea of where this is going then you know but for those of you who don't costco's food court that's all there is to it i don't know there's like something about just going to costco dropping a few hundred on all your necessities or maybe not necessities depending on the day and just treating yourself at the end of that shopping trip to either a chicken bake a hot dog a slice of pizza or some ice cream like just something about that just hits a little bit different so this year i actually attended two different graduations and luckily they were on the shorter end which i am thankful for and so after one of the graduations we actually hit up royal buffet if you haven't checked out royal buffet they're actually one of the newer buffets that just joined the, the buffet scene here in albuquerque and they have a little bit of everything for everyone i really enjoyed the crawfish there as well as a few other items but this has been the go-to spot lately and they do have a little bit of everything for everyone, so whatever your jam is, there's probably something there for you too. Okay, so next on the list, this was actually an impromptu visit. After getting off work one day, we actually visited the Borough Cafe, and this is probably one of my favorite brunch spots here in town. And what I usually like getting here is the lox bagel, but make it into a crepe. And so they will wrap up that bagel into a crepe form. And I usually like getting the home fried potatoes with it. There is a little bit of an upcharge to that, but you can't stand between a girl and her love for potatoes. So that's what we do. And I also really like their Vietnamese iced coffee here as well. It is a little bit on the sweeter end because they do put a little more of condensed milk here, but it's still really good good but yeah so if you haven't checked out borough cafe yet definitely do so it is one of my favorite spots here in town especially in the heights they have a little bit of everything for everyone there's omelets there's bagels there's coffee teas all that fun stuff okay so later in the week i actually grabbed a few of my friends and we headed up to the fifth floor of hotel chaco for level five and if you haven't been there definitely go check them out they just dropped a new menu so everything is super delicious and was thoroughly enjoyed by all of us i didn't really get much footage here mainly because we spent majority of our time off our phones enjoying each other's presence and company and just enjoying the good food good vibes in general but with that being said go check them out if you haven't already okay so last but not least and ending this on another asian owned business here in town is kokyo korean fried chicken they are located on wyoming and manal in that little strip plaza right next to flying star and i really love their chicken because the breading is super light and crispy and the chicken is super juicy and tender everything here is made to order so if you are on a time crunch definitely call ahead it is definitely worth the wait like i have been here a few times and i am super excited to be talking about them in this week's episode specifically for this month because it is aapi month and i am doing my best to support and highlight asian owned and aapi owned businesses here so this one is definitely making the cut but here we got the chicken tenders with the hot crispy and a side of the signature sauces that they have as well as some fries and some fried dumplings everything is made and cooked to order with that being said if you haven't checked out this spot yet or have heard of them now you have 
go pay them a visit and let me know what you think all righty guys well that honestly concludes that for this week it has been a jam-packed week for sure i tried my best to just condense everything make it short sweet straight to the point and just try to not drag some of these out as well but other than that, May is definitely one of those months where it's like super busy. There are so many plans and just a lot of things having me to be double booked, triple booked at times and just having to make sure to just prioritize or manage my time really well. So it's definitely one of those chaotic months, but we actually do enjoy the chaos of it. It's just a part of life. But Anyways, if you like what you saw today and want to keep seeing more, don't forget to drop me a follow on Instagram. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Taste Bud Club. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on all the fun. But that's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye!